Hello everyone this is Null Security X. Bug bounty hunting is often still perceived as running random tools and hopping to get lucky. But in 2026, that mindset no longer works. Modern bug bounty programs are not limited to traditional web applications. They include APIs, cloud infrastructure, microservices, and increasingly, AI-driven systems. In environments this complex, finding real vulnerabilities is not about chance, it requires a structured and repeatable methodology. In this video and accompanying article, we will break down modern bug bounty methodology from a deeply technical perspective. We'll cover the entire workflow from passive and active reconnaissance, to parameter discovery, automation pipelines, manual exploitation, cloud and API attack surfaces, and even the practical role of AI in modern bug hunting. This content is designed for researchers who already understand web fundamentals, are familiar with the OWASB top 10, and want to move beyond low impact findings toward high value, real world vulnerabilities. If your goal is to turn bug bounty hunting into a disciplined, scalable, and effective process, you're in the right place. Let's break down what bug bounty methodology really looks like in 2026. Introduction Bug bounty hunting has matured into a scientific discipline rather than a hit or miss hobby. Modern bug bounty programs are sprawling systems that include web applications, APIs, cloud infrastructure, and AI based services. Finding vulnerabilities in these complex environments requires a rigorous methodology that blends technical reconnaissance, automation pipelines, and manual exploitation skills. This article provides a deeper technical look at bug bounty methodology in 2026, drawing on the latest research and industry practices. It assumes that you have already mastered web fundamentals like HTTP, HTML, and JavaScript, and that you are familiar with the OWASB top 10 vulnerabilities. The goal is to help you build a repeatable yet adaptable workflow that will allow you to uncover high-impact bugs efficiently. Provide a caption optional. Foundations, understanding the landscape. Before diving into advanced techniques, ensure that you have a firm grasp of the basics. Study protocols such as HTTP, DNS, and TLS, learn how modern web frameworks handle requests, and practice writing and reading JavaScript and SQL queries. Familiarity with the OWASB top 10 risk categories will help you prioritize your testing. These categories include broken access control, security misconfiguration, injection, cryptographic failures, insecure design, and others. Mastering these fundamentals provides the context needed to recognize when an application behaves unexpectedly during recon or exploitation. Technical reconnaissance, passive and active asset discovery. Reconnaissance is the first step in every bug bounty engagement. As the Cyber X Society workflow explains, Recon's goal is to collect data about your target. A good methodology distinguishes between passive and active recon. Passive recon gathers information without touching the target. Tools like Subfinder, Asset Finder, Waybacurls, and CRT, SH enumerate subdomains and historical URLs. GitHub dorking can reveal secrets committed to public repositories, for example. Bash. Hash enumerate subdomains from public sources. Subfinder target.com o subdomains txt. Hash fetch archived URLs. Echo target.com waybacurls wayback txt. Hash search for certificates. CRTSH slash Q equals percent target com. Active recon interacts directly with the target. A mass performs large scale subdomain enumeration, HTTPX probes live hosts, Nmap scans ports and identifies services, and DirSearch brute forces directories. Use these tools to build a list of live assets. Bash. Hash active subdomain discovery with a mass. A mass enum active target.com o amass txt. Hash identify live hosts and technologies. Cat subdomains txt httpx title tech detect status code live hosts txt hash port and service scanning nmap sv 804438080 oa nmap scan target.com hash directory brute forcing dir search uhttps slash slash app target com php html js o dyers txt Organize the results into structured files like subdomains, txt, live hosts, txt, and nmap scan, xml, and revisit them whenever the program expands its scope. 
This organization ensures you can quickly pivot when new domains or services are added. Provide a caption optional. Active enumeration and service scanning. Once you have a list of targets, move to deeper enumeration. Tools such as MassDNS for high-speed DNS resolution and Aquaton for visual inspection can reveal additional hosts and hidden interfaces. The Ultimate Bug Bounty Guide recommends commands like Mastins, Resolvers, TXD, a subdomains, TXD OSW Resolved, TXD to resolve large domain lists. Aquaton and Eyewitness can screenshot web services to highlight default login pages or misconfigured dashboards. Incorporate what web to detect technologies and HTTPX to extract titles, status codes, and fingerprint frameworks. Port scanning remains essential. Use Nmap SVSC Vuln target, COM to run built in vulnerability scripts. Focus on non standard ports such as 8080, 8443, 3000, or 9200 because they often host development APIs or admin interfaces. Document every service and cross reference with publicly known CVEs to plan your next steps. Provide a caption optional. Parameter and content discovery. After mapping the surface, look inside. Parameters often hide in query strings, headers, or bodies and can lead to injection bugs or logical flaws. The CyberX Society workflow recommends using Param, Spider, and Argent to find hidden GET post parameters and GF patterns to filter out endpoints likely vulnerable to XSS or SSRF. Combine these tools with content discovery scanners like FFUF, Gobbuster, and FerexBuster. Example commands. Bash. Hash find parameters from historical URLs. Python 3 param spider pi target.com oparams txt. Hash discover API endpoints and HTTP methods. FFUF w params txt paramu https slash slash API target com param equals test mc200403. Hash filter archived URLs for XSS patterns. Cat Wayback TXD sort U GF XSS XSS candidates TXD. GitHub's bug bounty methodology emphasizes parameter discovery as a key step. Tools like Arjun and Param Spider systematically enumerate parameters beyond query strings. The goal is to uncover seldom used parameters that may bypass validation or authorization. Provide a caption optional. Automated vulnerability scanning and template tuning. Automation accelerates vulnerability discovery but must be calibrated. Nucle, a vulnerability scanning engine, can check thousands of hosts against templates for CVEs and misconfigurations. Use commands like nuclei live hosts, txt tilde slash nucle templates slash severity critical, high, medium, or create custom templates that target technologies discovered during recon. Filter scans by tags, e.g., tags XSS, SQLI, SSRF, and adjust rate limits, rate limit 10 to avoid overwhelming servers. After scanning, review results manually to confirm findings and reduce false positives. Remember that automation is only as good as its templates. Keep your template repository updated and contribute new templates when you find unique patterns. Provide a caption optional. Advanced enumeration, cloud and API targets. Modern bug bounty scopes often include cloud resources. The GitHub methodology lists tools like Cloud Enum, AWS Bucket Dump, and S3 Scanner for enumerating misconfigured storage buckets and exposing data. Combine these with S3 Finder or Oz S3 LS commands using leaked keys to explore bucket contents. For API discovery, Kytrainer can brute force API paths based on open API and Swagger specifications. Pair API recon with ASN mapping using Shodan and Senzis to identify services hosted on specific ranges. Cloud and API enumeration requires caution, never access data you are not authorized to access and always report misconfigured buckets responsibly. Manual exploitation and intelligent testing. Automation finds low-hanging fruit. Manual testing uncovers logic flaws and high-impact vulnerabilities. Use Burp Suite's repeater and intruder modules, Postman for API testing, and simple curl commands to craft custom requests. The CyberX Society Guide suggests modifying parameters, tampering with HTTP methods, and adjusting headers such as X forwarded for, referrer, user agent, and authorization. For instance, to test an IDOR, change ID equals 101 to ID equals 102 and observe the response. Try adding or removing authentication tokens to see whether the backend properly enforces authorization. Manual exploration also covers testing file uploads for XXC or command injection, exploring GraphQL queries, and cross-protocol attacks like WebSockets or gRPC. 
record every step. Save request response pairs in burp, copy curl commands for reproduction and take screenshots for your report. This meticulous documentation not only helps the target reproduce the bug but also strengthens your report's credibility. Provide a caption optional. Systemic versus manual approaches and building pipelines. BugCrowd describes two primary bug hunting styles, systemic, also called farming and manual. Systemic hunters build automation pipelines that generate high volumes of low-hanging findings by running massive recon scans and vulnerability scripts. The benefit is scale, but it produces noise and duplicate reports. Manual hunters invest time in deeper analysis, focusing on complex logic flaws and business logic bugs. The best bug hunters blend both. They create recon pipelines to monitor for new assets, e.g., by storing subdomain lists in re-engine and watching for scope changes, and then dive manually into interesting applications. Use continuous integration, CI pipelines, or cron jobs to run daily scans and send alerts when new domains or services appear. When the scope expands, your manual testing can begin immediately, giving you a head start in competitive programs. Provide a caption optional. AI and automation synergy. According to HackerOne's 2025 research, valid AI-related bug reports grew by 210% year-over-year, and prompt injection reports increased by 540%. Two-thirds of bug hunters now use AI tools to accelerate reconnaissance and testing. Tools like GPT-powered script generators can help write reconnaissance scripts or craft payloads. AI can summarize codebases, suggest potential vulnerabilities, and automate tasks like parsing API documentation. However, AI-generated reports are often shallow. HackerOne warns that they lack the human insight necessary for deep analysis. As architecture and logic flaws become more valuable than classic injection vulnerabilities, the skill set of successful hunters blends AI-driven efficiency with human intuition. Use AI to assist, never to replace, your own reasoning and always verify its suggestions manually. Provide a caption optional. Reporting with technical precision. Finding a bug is only half the battle. Writing a clear, reproducible report ensures you get paid. CyberX Society provides a concise report template. Include a descriptive title, a summary explaining the vulnerability and its impact, detailed steps to reproduce, proof of the vulnerability and mitigation suggestions. For example, an IDOR report should list the endpoint, describe how changing the id parameter deletes another user's account, include the exact curl command for reproduction and propose that the application enforce ownership checks. The GitHub methodology similarly emphasizes structured reports, Include a clear description, environment details, reproduction steps, impact analysis, and remediation recommendations. Use bullet points, avoid jargon, and highlight business impact. This will help program owners understand and prioritize your report. Provide a caption optional. Ethics and legal considerations. Always stay within the program's scope and respect the law. Test only the assets explicitly permitted by the program and follow the responsible disclosure policies. HackerOne's gold standard safe harbor statement provides legal protection for hackers by ensuring that participants acting in good faith will not face legal consequences. Read the program's rules carefully, avoid exploiting data beyond demonstration, and never attempt to monetize vulnerabilities outside the bounty program. Ethical hacking is about improving security, not causing harm. Provide a caption optional. Conclusion. Bug bounty hunting in 2026 demands technical mastery, automation, and human ingenuity. By building a robust workflow, from passive recon and active enumeration to parameter discovery, vulnerability scanning, manual exploitation and clear reporting, you can systematically uncover vulnerabilities others miss. Combining automation pipelines with manual analysis helps you cover both breadth and depth. Integrating AI tools accelerates your work but requires critical oversight. Above all, stay ethical and respect safe harbor guidelines. Continuous learning, experimentation, and community engagement will keep your methodology sharp and your findings impactful. YouTube Bug Bounty Posse Playlist HTTPS slash slash www.youtube.com slash playlist list equals PLN 5G8 MBYC PW 17 ka SB MT Nipsel S5 Meh. Final Closing Modern bug bounty hunting is no longer about running random tools or chasing low-impact issues. It is about understanding systems deeply, combining automation with human intuition, and consistently focusing on real-world impact. This methodology is not static. It evolves with new technologies, attack surfaces, and defensive mechanisms. Staying effective means continuously refining your workflow, questioning assumptions, and learning from both successful and failed hunts. 
If you want to explore more advanced bug bounty methodologies, real vulnerability research, and practical exploitation techniques, follow us and stay connected. Twitter x https slash slash x com slash null security x. YouTube https slash slash www YouTube. Comment null security x. Null security x.